This is a HeadGum Podcast. Wow. wow! Hacks is back for season three. How watch, does it feel? Watch this. Hacks is back on Max. Hacks is back on Max. Hacks is back on Max. Hacks is back, back on Max. Okay, let's do. Um, let's imagine me, a woman with a late night show. Pat, <laughs> how was your experience? That would never happen. Imagine not because of me, it was because of no woman. No Taylor woman's allowed. Taylor and woman. Lily Singh. <laughs> I know, but they're, not being, but they're not being given couch, and they should be, give, be they should be given couch. They should be given. Taylor couch. should be given couch. I give great couch. I give great a, couch. That would be such that a would be joke such, in yeah. like 2013. The subway app would be like, she gives great couch. We're here to talk today like, about the show Hacks on HBO okay, Max. So, Hey Pat, I'm mm. late night. And if if there's a world, imagine a complete <laughs> fantasy land. A utopia. Well, it's funny that you say this because you know season three of Hacks really deals with. Deborah's coming off of her, like a huge win at the end sure. of season two, and it was so fun to write. Well, you got to keep dreaming. I do Deborah. think season three is the best season. That is so exciting. Yeah. And so, well, I have to say, I, your clip, I'm floored. You're such a great actor. It's thank so you. funny. It's so well done. Like the timing is exquisite. Like it's so like tonally. It's just All so directed by Lucia and Yellow. Yeah, so good. She's such so, a good director. I was gonna say you were so well directed in that clip. Yeah. Like tonally it's just even, it's beautiful. Yeah, and then they just make it is so nice when I mean I've only been in, in a few things on screen, but it's nice when they make you look good. And I think that well, you they look do a really good job. And it hacks is back for season three. And sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm excited about, and you know I'm even more excited I'm yeah. so excited is that so is the official hacks podcast right which i was also lucky enough to appear on yes you it's there's no video component but i did show up looking absolutely see Snatched you see you next off. tuesday just in case <laughs> but so just know as you're listening to it that i look fully see you next tuesday the whole time and other guests include hannah einbinder of course gene smart and jay smith cameron the director of photography the costume designer and other members of the cast and crew and you guys are all talking about the creative choices that went into making the show is that right um, yes. And thanks for joining me on my late night show. Oh. <laughs> yes, we were talking about where it was. It was fun when I went on because, like, we were talking about that day of shooting and, like, how it was. And then we also were just talking about, like, as viewers will know at the end of season two, Deborah and Ava part ways. And it, it, and there is quite a bit of finality to it where many people thought it was the end of the show. Mm. So there was, we talk about, like, what that process was of, like, coming back and deciding how we wanted to bring them together and like and and when we should and, and and that dance and it was it actually is so fun I do love TV writing it is really fun to me and it's so fun to talk about that process like a year later Pat Regan everybody thank you so, <laughs> thank much. You so much thank you so much so you are you are you are gonna get to hear all those stories if you like that there's a whole podcast about it um it's not this one it's called the hacks official podcast so y'all don't mess around watch my friend's show hacks um I'm not actually in it, which is okay. <laughs> so watch Hacks and listen to the official Hacks podcast on Max or wherever you get your podcast. All right. Love you guys. Hey, bitch. What is your whole deal? Hey, bitch. Just tell us how you feel. You wished for a sign from above. Well, here's a podcast about boy sex, fucking dating and love. Seek treatment. If you're boring as fuck, seek treatment. If you're unlucky and Hey. hey, it's Kitty Cat Cappuccinista. It's Patrick Owen Regan Esquire because I went to law school, bitch. Congratulations <laughs> on going to hiatus. law school. <laughs> and congratulations. This is Seek Treatment. Podcast, podcast about, about boys, sex, sex fucking dating, dating and love. love. We're, We're live, live in the, the studio, studio with the one, the, the only, only Lucas Gay. Yeah. I'm so excited oh to now, be back. We have to get into it. You just yeah. got a FaceTime call from eight. 18 people at yeah. once. 18 middle-aged women. Because I'm we're, obsessed. Yeah, we're dear friends. I'm online dear friends with your f listeners from your previous episode will know that you have a friend called Cole. Yes. Yeah, and Cole's important to us. Cole's a friend really called important. Cole would be such a good name for a friend. A friend called oh Cole. A friend called Cole. It's like a man called Otto, the sequel. Oh, I don't know what that. that? Oh, it's like the Tom Hanks movie. <laughs> Never I mind, forget it. That looks not. I don't know what anything is. <laughs> that looks not. I don't know who <laughs> anyone is. I don't know what anything's about. Oh. And so you so you said Cole is calling. Cole is calling. But what actually happened was. Cola. Not Cole is calling. Yes, Cole is calling. I wish Cole is calling. Was calling. Um, love Cole too. Love Cole. Sorry. Love all Coles. Yeah. I have only Cole's good feelings about Have you seen Coles play? I have to go to New York. Oh my God. Best play. I saw it three times. Oh. Best play I've ever seen in my life. Funniest thing on earth. Funniest thing ever made. I have to see it. Well, you have to see it. Genie and Truly. a bottle. Genius. But um, other Cole called. So we another Cole called, and, but there were seven people on the line of all yes. different varying ages. It yes. was from all walks of life. Yeah. All walks of life. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something that happens to you typically. Yeah, you were I'm so always... You were so casual about it. You go, hey, guys. Yeah, no, I'm like constantly on a group chat. 
I'm uh, jealous that yeah. so they live in your phone. They live in my phone. I'm always alone, but I'm always with them. Really? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I've recently experimented with? Uh. Mm. Marco Polo. That is for that famous is. people. I feel like all my famous friends are like Marco Polo me. What's Marco Polo? You're is it famous. Not? You don't do Marco Polo. I'm yeah. like see this. It's <laughs> no. You're you're like X. It's it's <laughs> honestly for famous like um millennials. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you're you might be too young. You're too young. Mm. What? I love Congratulations. That. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Now, first of all, wait. It Marco Polo is boring because like if you aren't in the mood to watch it. But you know what you could do with it? I just learned. Mm. You could have the videos play at 2.5 times speed. Oh, that changes oh, the game. Oh, great. Now, question, Lucas. Tell me. Um, how did that, and how, first of all, we're both hungover, which is incredible. I'm deathly hungover. That's so present. I'm and we're both no, not, here. not I need to go to Rio. How did that group chat come together? Like, how did y'all, um, how, who started the thread? Oh, God, I think who I. Who started a thread? <laughs> got the whole world crying. Wait, also, can we talk about gay threads, which I've been listening to? No. I learned yes. about from you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm off. I, I literally <laughs> have no idea, whatever, every time you bring it up. Honestly, the slime, the, um, kudos for saying that mama meme, like, yeah. Yeah. It, it which brought, I learned about at a dinner. <laughs> it, <laughs> it brought me back to Twitter. Because I like, mm. had what I wanted to post, so I went back to Twitter, and now I'm like, maybe this is just better. I actually miss yeah. Twitter. I never thought I threads I'll still do once in a while, but like, sure. I don't really care about it. I will say, I'm trying to live my life off IG right now, but then I it does that. make you feel like a loser. Why? Does I don't does because then <laughs> does it? <'cause, laughs> wait, 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 does it? <laughs> because then you go on, and everyone else has been posting. Everyone else is like, mm. look, I'm doing throughout the event. There are people in my orbit that'll do a grid post every day. Yeah, a grid post every day. Uh, psychotic, uh, right? <laughs> That's not well. I think I do them um, most days. You do a grid you post, do a grid most, post days. most days. A grid post most days. I'll throw up like a stand-up clip <laughs> to the wind and be do like, you? maybe this will make a difference. I go, <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe this will make something happen. I um, I don't know. Like I went to the you know there's owls at the Silver Lake Reservoir. Real ones. There's real owls. That's awesome. Babies. That. There's there's three babies. <laughs> awesome sauce. There's three babies that are either triplets or close in age. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's obviously one parent figure. It's not clear if it's a single mom who works too hard who works or if jobs. it's like a single dad who's who's been widowed. A widower. Are there any famous the triplets? <laughs> oh, yeah, do you know about famous triplets? Um, We're on a quest for them. I know here. about. <laughs> I just recently watched Quince, Quince, Quintuplets. <laughs> remember that, that Disney Channel movie? No. Oh. Do you remember the girl with the dimple in her chin who was like in Halloween? Oh, oh my. I oh do my remember God. that girl. Oh my God. What just happened? Debbie yeah. Allen. Yeah. I need to go. No, not Debbie Allen. Cancel this interview. This fucking this. town. It's all smoke and mirrors, this town. <laughs> it's all Isn't smoke that and symbolic, mirrors. though? Right. It's, <laughs> kind of, it's kind of gorgeous. I just got, you guys know I just got to LA and immediately it crumbles in front of my eyes. <laughs> um, I know that girl. I know exactly the girl you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, she was like in everything. But anyway, there's a movie about her being a quintuplet. Did um, she play five parts? She played all five parts. She's so <laughs> awesome. Really? <laughs> no, that'd be iconic, though. <laughs> she, she watched Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan and said, hold my drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I recently was shown an image of... I think this is fine to say a woman who is pregnant with quadruplets, and I, she, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess my I don't know if it's because the point is like she was like, look at how my stomach is being pregnant with a quadruplets. It was it, it was, was as crazy. Like, quadruplets weren't all like crowded together. It was like they were all in a line coming out. Oh, oh my god! Honestly, it looked like a large hot dog coming out of her abdomen. And she had to kind of, She literally had to kind of carry it around. I know someone who gave birth to quadruplets, <laughs> and she said they were like in her back. Like it went all the way around. <laughs> oh, one's in my back. <laughs> she was like, like, oh, there's so much. Oh my god, I can't. I Can can't. you imagine if that's my path? And one slips down to your butt by accident. And you, and you're... <laughs> I'm worried because um, I'm not worried. Not about that. All right, go. Um, I like how you were worried about what getting canceled. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm pregnant with <laughs> so what yeah. about the quadruplet? Yeah, what about this? Oh, these I guess babies? my whole this is why I was worried about the big cancellation is because yeah. my whole point is her stomach looked weird. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm scared. And I was, and I was trying to piggyback on that, piggyback on that and say, Lucas, how are you today? Um, <laughs> um, I, um, I'm feeling um I'm feeling positively hungover. What did you do last night? I went to dinner with a group of people, um, and then I went to a party, like a real Ooh, what LA, kind of party? like a real like kind of LA staple. That's so, but where was the event? Um, it wasn't an event; it was just like a house. Oh, um, a and house. I haven't done this in a while. I'm real 
real keep mm. to myself kind of totally. Thing. totally. <laughs> you know when you say I went out to dinner to me when you go out to dinner Please. this is what's happening you're going out to dinner that mm. uh, my mind's going to you're in a party bus with Meg Stalter hanging upside down like bats oh Do I want to hang upside down oh. I want to hang upside down with Meg Stalter we did get a limo bus to Chili's one night that and it was heaven. the best night of my life and Chili's sponsored me and gave me like gift cards for life are you serious? No, wait, let's get chicken post- crispers. Do you want to? Yeah. Let's get a chicken, yeah, bl- bl- the chicken, bl- honey chicken. I, I used to be so jealous of my friend in high school because his girlfriend's mom was obsessed with chilies. And she <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> Me doing the math. <laughs> so he would, they, he would go with their family to eat at chilies like three nights a week. <laughs> and, I like did too, <laughs> for sure. I, we never, we weren't like a restaurant family because mm. we had so many kids. And then like if we, like one time we went to Applebee's as a family. Mm-hmm. And it was clear that like, my mom didn't want to be a regular thing. It was I mean, they're really a table expensive. for eight. So she kept being like, oh my God, see how the, the plates are hot? Like, that means, like, it's been under a heat lamp. Oh. <laughs> and so, like, that was always why we couldn't go back to Applebee's. But really, they didn't want to pay for, like, everyone to get, like, wraps. Yeah. But uh, whatever. It I, must have been so crazy going out with that many people. It just was, like, Yeah. Yeah, I was. I'm being so boring. No, you're no, not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being. I feel like I have no personality. I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm dying right now. I want to hear about the party. The party was. Um, Did you kiss anyone? I didn't kiss anyone. Are you on the prowl? I'm. I'm open. Yeah. I'm not like actively looking, but if it falls into Mama's lap, totally, he's down. You know <laughs> what I mean? I'm like hell yeah. I can bounce. <laughs> Um, it falls into the lap. If it falls into the lap, I'm not saying no. Saying, yeah. What yeah. Did, you, did you wear a good outfit to the party? Um, I wasn't a great outfit. To Were be you honest. just like, I don't even care. I'm like, who knows what could happen tonight? Like, I'm not even planning on it. I right literally now. had no idea. Well, I was told that it was. Um, I told I was told it was somebody's birthday party, and then I like walked in, and it was like Toby Maguire and Chris Brown. Like, was the <laughs> first two so people random. I walked. In. It was the most random party. We just had Toby on the pod. Did you really? Wow. I would have died. <laughs> He was actually really nice. Yeah, of course. I didn't. <laughs> he was actually so kind. That would be so wild. We're like, hey guys, please yeah. welcome. Put your ears open for Tobey Maguire. I know. Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah. I, wait, what was I gonna say? Some sort of name droppy. I'm. No. I, I was just. Well, I it was a random you night. You begged me. And, and you also, forced it's not me. like. It's not. It's <laughs> not like. It's like uh, I'm gonna go on a podcast tomorrow and say that I was with Toby Maguire and Chris Brown. <laughs> and no offense to those people. No offense to Toby. No offense to Toby. <laughs> yeah, no offense, Toby. We stand Toby. But can you say who's and not to push you into dropping another? Right, but whose mm. party might can it have been? No idea. Oh, really? truly, no idea. Cool. And truly. who's your best friend in the world? Um, Besides Cole, I think Cole, Phoebe, Charlie, Maud, and these two middle-aged women that are on that group chat. That oh you my just god, met. what a beautiful crew! Yeah. And I want to be clear that one of them unfollowed me on social media. We once. have to. Have okay. You can believe it. You can believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. So what? Well, hmm. I don't care. Of course. I care. I'm uh, pissed. Well, it's funny. Well, I've it's never such met a, like, that person. It's such a like me. It's I'm, like me being. Uh. Yeah, I've never met the person. Have you ever unfollowed anyone that like, you don't know? That I don't know. Um, <laughs> Wait, that's such, yeah, I've done that. Wait, <laughs> just ask that question. And it's, yeah. it's pretty rare that I'll. It's yeah. pretty rare that I'll follow someone I don't know, unless it's like Taylor Swift. I used to follow Love. like lots of. This is wild. The most boring. No, I've unfollowed like there are some runners that I've like followed, and then I'm like, you're not giving like. I'm like, you're not caring about the sport enough. Well, shout right. out to your girl who gave me free. You might have unlimited chilies for a lifetime, <laughs> but I got one free pair of shoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> suck it. Uh, oh, let's yeah. bring, bring back suck it. You remember that? Suck like, it. Well, you know suck it, is, suck it. I believe that suck it is like WWE base. What? Yeah, it, I believe. I believe. <laughs> it, it is my belief yeah. that suck it I love is WWE World base. Wrestling Entertainment. World wrestling and used to be world wrestling. Do you care about wrestling? I love wrestling. Do you? Did you have a time with it? Oh, we never had a time with it. You had a time with it. I know I never did. I think every young every young guy is like I was enamored by the divas. Oh wow. Mm. There was a woman called Trish Stratus with like an amazing chest. And I thought it was really hot. (laughs) Like sexual. Yeah. And and that's where honestly that's where my love for hard boobs came. Of from. course, that makes so much sense. <laughs> Origin story. He loves rock solid titties. You love fake titties? I love a fake I titty. I do, I think. I love real juicy. You, you like juicy? You like big naturals. I like big naturals, but not like, I like the ones that, like defy gravity. Alphabet. I like yeah. corn fed germains. Just like fucking in like <laughs> middle America. Yeah. Corn fed milky milks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Milky milks. Milky yeah. Milks. I like it to feel like they were invented in a lab. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I really want surgery Spherical. on my whole body. 
Me um, too. I just got a facial. <laughs> no, that's this what, that's what you, you say. You would never. I, mean, do I would that. never do that. Don't <laughs> you, you know? You're never perfect. Need that. <laughs> <laughs> you could buy, <laughs> you could buy hair that won't grow. You could buy a nose if you want to. You could oh, buy all the makeup that Mac grow. can make. But wow. if you can't look inside you, all the makeup that you, Mac can make. I know who you are too. Put Lucas in the position to make you feel so damn pretty. Can I ask you guys a question that Cole begged me yes. to ask? Mm. He's He said, I have one question for you to ask. It's been weighing on him for a while. I'm so excited. I'm scared. Okay. Excited and scared. Yeah. Letterboxd, but with your top four favorite pop songs of the past 15 years. It's very important to oh, It's so well, funny. Interesting. We're, we're so not that. I know. I know. It's interesting. Cool. Cool. Direct that to... Okay, but that's a fun question. That, direct that to our dear friends, the Culturistas. Yeah, the Culturistas <laughs> would, would knock that out yeah. of the park. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not like... Do you really want to go first? Me first? Well, I think. Okay, yeah. Go, do you want to go first? You. I, um, like, I yeah. can start. Okay. All of mine, like, I could say One Promiscuous Girl by Nelly Furtado. Amazing now song. That, was that 15 years ago? One of the ago? best songs. That was in 2000. We'll count it, like, early aughts. Oh, that was 2005, because I would oh, just wow. listen to it driving to senior year. Mm. I was driving to senior year. Driving to senior year. You left after a year. Um, what else? Um, I really like, well... Honestly, like I'm gonna count as one the Teenage Love Triangle trilogy, but from folklore. Wait, what? Cardigan. Oh, August. Betty. Invisible string. Oh, you think oh. of that as but, one song? I think that I don't want to. I'm not gonna get the. I think that all of them to come together as one pop hit. Because what about <laughs> boom, clap, sound to my heart? The beat goes on and on and on and on. Long. I mean, obviously, I one of mine obviously is I don't care. Oh, yeah. I know that. Like that's the best song ever. That's a totally. great song. Wait, what, what song was on recently that I kept screaming at whoever was with best song of all times? I forget. It was like a stupid song. Oh. Oh, um, okay, definitely. This is definitely more than 15 years ago, but I have a living girlfriend. So, oh, so good. I have top four songs of all I time. Like, <laughs> I was going to say. No, it's not a secret. <laughs> you know what song's actually good that no one mm. cared about and no one respected enough? Um, guess it's never really, really over. over. Yeah. <laughs> Drunk Scottish guy once told me I looked like. You kind of do a little <laughs> um, bit. No, combination of, he goes, I can't do the accent, and I won't. I won't do it. So goes, you look like a combination of a Zoe Deschanel and Katy Perry. I you know. actually do. I go, <laughs> <"That's not laughs> trying to come back from the surgery comment. <laughs> I go, that's two girls with brown hair. <laughs> um, oh, Starships. Oh, my God, Starships. Oh, yeah. so There's nothing like it. What about um, also Super Bass? Amazing yeah. song. Be it's just a thoughtful out. question from Cole, but I wish. Um, I wish we were better. Never equipped. Be the Same by Camilla Cabello. Which one's that? Cabello. Is she is Camila Cabello? Is she Quizmos? She's what? Uh, qu- uh, she was, do you know what I'm talking about? What was uh, the harmony? <clears throat> yeah. This is Nicaragua. Nothing. Nothing. This you is didn't Nicaragua see anything. Spray. Can I try? Yeah. Uh, but, you know that every time someone's asked me to try, they go almost thrown up. Oh really? But it's just Nicaragua. But do it under your tongue. Don't do more scared. than. Don't do more than. Is two that sprays. the Kristen Bell Express? Yeah. yeah. Look at me. Kristen Bell told me about it. What does that mean? Kristen you feel? Bell told you about it. Oh, it's safe. Um, more hungover. Worse? Really? A little dizzy. I'm l- lately oh. people keep telling me how like cigarettes make you more hungover. Really? They I've do. never heard that before. They do. I saw this table there. on Amazon because you know I'm in my home reno oh, yeah. mode. I'm calling it I'm saying I'm doing a renovation. I'm just getting like one piece of new furniture. Wait. Wait, Lucas. so was it was it a prep yeah. on party? It was like a four or five out of ten. What's really? the best, what, what do you think is the best it? night you've ever had? Yeah. Mm. In a, like um I guess Hmm. Oh, actually, I know exactly oh, the answer to this. Great. I know exactly. Let's go. I threw a party at um, Tom Tom. Oh no. my god! Yeah, and I invited when? like uh, like two years ago. I was going away to do a show in London for six months, and I was like, I need to throw a party. It was my best friend Phoebe's birthday party, but I lied and said it was my going Phoebe. away party. She's amazing. You should have her on the on the thing. She's having a show come out. It's called Cruel Intentions. The I- <gasps> Is it based Seriously? on? Yeah. Oh my. She's the showrunner. Oh of it. my god. Wait, she should include me in the project. You should be on it. Be it on screen. I want to be a high schooler. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I want to pen fifteen it. I want to um, be the. Um, well, tell her to come be, on the pod when it comes out. She would I want to be the, th- the female th- uh, therapist whose daughter he fucks, and she's mm-hmm. like Sebastian. Oh yeah. At the mall. Want a blowjob? Yeah. Who's Rude. in that show? Um, actually, one of the actors from. Cruel Intentions. Which one? Blanking on his name. Who does he play? Oh, God, I'm, I don't know. I really don't know. It was know. Joshua okay. Jackson, Ryan Phillippe. <sighs> oh, no, God. it's like more of a niche character in it. That's jo- fun. Okay, yeah. that's fun. Like a throwback. And then um, what was that movie with uh, Brad Pitt where... Thelma and Louise. Oh, so good. I never saw that. it. What? Really? 
Don't Get say out. that. <laughs> Interesting. No, the movie where he dies and he comes back. Oh, God, come Fight on. Fight Club? No, not Fight Club. The movie where he dies, he comes back. Something, oh, God. And he's like a robot Please look this up for me. It's going to kill me. You're a robot. <laughs> Death by not remembering that. Astra? No. It's like 20 years ago. Oh, Joe Black? Meet, yeah, Meet, Meet Joe, Joe Black. Black. Meet Joe Black. Never saw that. Claire Forlani is the, the love interest in that, is a mom in it. And then like a bunch of just like really hot, new, young actors. And was she on the page, meaning your group call? She was on that, yeah. Oh, she was nice. on that page. The, the, she's the daughter of... The mom so it's a mother daughter duo on the chat. Mother and daughter. Then I, so, I need to understand everyone's relationship. A mother daughter duo. I will never get over you. It was so casual. He picks up the phone. He's like, hey, God. Seven it's people. It's a mother daughter duo. Our best friend Cole. Ma- yes. Mama unfollow. And yes. Mama unfollow. Mama unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> Introducing Mama unfollow. That is my drag name. Yeah. Mama unfollow. <laughs> How long has the chat been going? It's been going on for years. And years. we just like throw people in there. Yeah, it actually really started during um, COVID. <laughs> you know that? just throw anyone in there. Throw anyone in there. You guys have to make a guest appearance yeah. on it. That would be really oh. fun. Oh. Mama said, We're guesting on you your group thread. You have to call her out. Uh, yeah. I would love to bring them on here. <laughs> um, okay, so you went to this party, but your life is so young Hollywood. Oh, God, I hate that. Don't, no, why? Oh, you're you're so you're it's so as- like that. I hate that. <laughs> it's so aspirational. No, it's God, Are you happy? Stop. Um, I'm actually real, like, finally happy. <gasps> really? That's amazing. What yeah. you, what's the secret? Um, just I think the secret is to just keep moving. You yeah, know? you <laughs> have to move hard. You got to keep like movement. You know, well, you, you know what? I get up. I'm like, <laughs> just start dancing. <laughs> uh, it's like Taylor Swift said, "Burn all your files, forget all your past lives." You do have to let go of the past so you can enjoy the present. Yeah. I think that once you like lose a person, you have to like. Switch it for another person. Like when you lose one, you gain one. Yeah. You know, when you move somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. Yeah, ask me. When you're not working on something, yeah. what's like a day in the life? Like how do you stay sane when you're not like called I to set vibes? Go to Erewhon where okay. we me and, see each other. Yes, me and Lucas. Often. Me and Lucas and our respective exes ran into each other at Erewhon. So are you an East Side boy? No, no it West a, Side. It was a West Side Erewhon. Erewhon look. Cheating on it. You're cheating on your No, because it was before I lived here. I was visiting. Okay. Yeah. You're sweating. <laughs> okay, so. Do you live by that Erewhon? You don't have to say. Uh, yeah, no, I do. It's I'm a great Erewhon. I'm in that Erewhon every day. I like that Erewhon. Just walk around. What circles. do you get? Just like weird collagen seeds. seeds yeah, and packets. I, like that, I like the energy of that one so much better than the Silver Lake one. Yeah. The Silver Lake one, it's like. The Beverly Hills one's dark. Really? Oh my God. I just think if you want to try to be East Side, it's like, it's just not Erewhon. Yeah. You know what not. I mean? It's not. Interesting. I'm so sick and tired of having to live in the Brooklyn of places. Really? Mm-hmm. I want to live in the Chelsea of a place. I want to go. I want to. What's go, the Chelsea of LA? West Hollywood. West Hollywood. I want to sure. land. Are you going to move West Hollywood? No, but yeah. I do want to go to a city, find someone, and t- tell me, take me to your most basic gay person. Mm-hmm. I want to be their neighbor. Yeah, that's and nice. that's where I'm just hanging around. I live with all the, I live with the sorority girls. <laughs> what? I live with the sorority girls. I know. There's the sweetest girl. You live with the sorority girl. No, just in my neighborhood, it's like... Like, very sorority vibes. It's totally. girls in the aloe sets. Got it. Oh, I go to aloe a lot, too. Now, I, is aloe a place? It's like a wellness center that's, like, five stories, and so I don't... I think it has to be a drug front, or something's going to come Whoa. out in a couple years about it. I don't it. have that in New York. I know, but you know, do, they? do you know they why might. I know about it, Car- Catherine? Because we, when we went to the woman in breakfast breakfast, they gave us free aloe products. I was just talking about the woman in breakfast. They give yeah. you fr- so much free aloe, always. Yeah, yeah what's what the is deal? that? And I don't like how their items fit. I actually <laughs> thought it was like a gym or something. It is a gym. Oh, it is. Yeah, a gym. it's a gym, but like they'll just like give you IVs and like cryo and an ice bath. And do you go to the really? Gym? What, what, so you're yeah. a member of it. I'm a member. I'm what a gym f- do you go to? <laughs> um, I go to a few. I go to. Um, That's so rare to go to a few. I just like to like keep it fresh. I go you, to like. Well, Doggy's advice: always be moving. Always yeah. be moving. <laughs> but don't you like to build one community? Your life move. <laughs> Are you exactly one gym for another? You just do. I, I like having. I go to Dog Pound. Oh, the doggy pound. that we, turns me on. T like, Swift. Yeah, well, we just talked about it in an episode with Lisa Traeger. Have you met Mrs. Mrs. Swift? No. Oh no. Uh, no. Oh my god, I, I need. I know. She's probably coming. She's coming on next week, I think. I heard she's a huge <laughs> fan of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. we're doing. We're um, so, we're our so next so live for our next live show. Our guests are Toby McGuire and Taylor Smith. <laughs> Taylor Smith. <laughs> Taylor Smith. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. My drag name, Taylor Mr. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great drag Taylor name. Taylor Smith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you go on a day off, you go to Erewhon, you go to the gym. I'm like just the most basic LA. Do you get their bit. pre do you get their like pre prepared things? I or they're like 
you go to the bar. The hot bar? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You don't? My you know, I used to all the time, but I haven't lately. Mm. My like, experience around Erewhon is Calteen Bar from Mean Girls, where like I accidentally was buying like all these keto things. And I was like, oh, I'm accidentally, <laughs> I'm accidentally like, my boyfriend was like, you know, you shouldn't be eating. like. I was completely okay. I was like, I know it's my body's beautiful, and I'm not, I would never want to lose a single pound. I love it, but um, I was like, I'm trying to lose weight, and he's like, we well, were eating these like keto muffins are like three thousand calories each. So I was like, I thought that was healthy. I, I thought um, keto was healthy. Uh, yeah, the dessert aisle, the peanut butter and jellies. Dessert cake. Yeah. Have you had that one? I know, but oh, I get wow. their like just their cookies are so good. I mean, so I just cookies. to me just like they're simple cookies. To me, a chocolate chip cookie, like there's nothing like it. Yeah. I disagree. I think a chocolate chip cookie is God's gift to his children. And I believe <laughs> that every all of us are actually God's children. I agree with so, that. Yeah, it's actually a, a I agree theory. With the I'm part. actually working on a theory that we're actually all God's children. Yeah. Yeah. And due to that, it is chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and due that, and due to that, that. <laughs> what's your dessert of choice? A trace Leche's cake. Oh, oh interesting. Oh. I've never had that. Yeah. Really? I'm always hearing It's it. always around. It's always around on I, Postmates. I couldn't even draw a picture. I'm not a Postmate. Oh, yeah. I like, we'll leave it at three in the morning. Like, That's Just beautiful. order a Trace Leche's. Do you eat health? Do I eat healthy? Um, I try to. Yeah. But, you know, I have a sweet tooth. Do you know my fantasy? Oh, what? My fantasy that I discovered <laughs> at no, um, the... <laughs> Sorry. My fantasy that I discovered because when we were at the Waverly Diner like seven years ago, oh, it was God. that like... I was having this elaborate fantasy where I was on a talk, like I was like <laughs> promoting a project because I was kind of like a creator, you know what yeah. I mean? And so I was promoting it and I was kind of like thought of, and so like the, it was like a Fallon type person and he was like, we're mainly talking about my project, of course, but like also like I, in this fantasy was like very fit and he was like, and you know, I have to say like, you have such an amazing body. Like what <laughs> do you eat? Like you must eat pretty healthy. And then I say in the interview, you know, I do. I do try to eat pretty healthy, but I do <laughs> once a week have one like really good cheeseburger. <laughs> That's my fantasy. That's, <laughs> That's That's my fantasy for seven years. You told me that seven years ago. <laughs> and I, and I, At that same meal, I, I was having a burger. And I ordered a milkshake. My milkshake comes. He goes, You're so lucky. <laughs> but because do you know why? It um, wasn't just a milkshake, it was malt. Well, malt is heaven. There's nothing like They're malt. Malt hits different. Yeah. That sounds good. What's your favorite um, talk show? <laughs> like late night yeah like what's the favorite don't one? make what's me like laugh your, what's the there's worst one and the best one you've done there's someone in my orbit right now I think Seth Meyers is the best in the biz I've never done any they've never asked me on you any. have to I, you'd I, be so good at it well I texted my, not even like to talk but I texted my reps like shouldn't I be doing a late night set or yeah. something yeah you should see what happens <laughs> like, you guys should have your own night one uh, yeah I know do you know anyone yeah you can call yeah, yeah, yeah. I call them tell the thread right. there's gotta be someone on that thread who can give us a get on gay threads <laughs> and we find them. I do think if we're gonna have a show it's gonna have to be a talk show because there's no way we're gonna get our act together and like I know but I want season arc I only want to do scripted stuff why? Because I don't like even like with this, I don't like when it feels like my literal personality is like a product. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's but what I do. That's what's hard. Because of my sales. Because of my How many years has this been going on? When you have it on the side. I actually don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Only because I have a noticeable disdain for women. So I do, of course. In fact, I'm sorry that I'm here. <laughs> well, have you heard lately that I'm not allowed to show? Um I got a comment on one of my Instagram reels that um it's it read it read your ass is so flat please never turn to the side again so i'm sorry if you see my side today i wanted to apologize that in advance uh, and michelle i know when i walked in you might have caught my side and i wanted to be open about that and how fucked up that is babe i'm trying so hard to get a huge ass it's, <laughs> it's working i have is a it? square ass it's like sharp corners really yeah. sharp corners like it's just a square that sounds cool that yeah. sounds cool <laughs> i love geometry hey architectural digest welcome to my ass <laughs> My you bowl of limes. <laughs> you showcased it on WL. On WL. Oh, I thought you said watch oh Rabbit's Wife. No, yeah, yeah, White Lotus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little, bu a little bum. Yeah, a little bum bum. I didn't notice any angles. What do you feel like was your big break? Juicier. I feel like I haven't. Had oh, shut no. the fuck up. Uh, what are you? No, I'm well, like what, was, what was the job you did that was like? Oh my god, everything's changing now. Or does it never feel like that? I feel like because I just do like small parts and like big shows, it hasn't felt like there's that thing that like catapults me. Like I'm still like, which is cool. I feel like I had a choice to like do a <laughs> <Bleep that. laughs> Bleep Bleep it. Uh, show <laughs> where I could have done that for a couple years and instead I chose to like do the smaller parts. I always yeah. like end up auditioning for the lead role in the show and mm -hmm. then like I go back for five other roles and they're finally just like give them something. <laughs> yeah. my, mom's going. So, my mom is so sweet. The advice she gives me like, because she doesn't know anything about this. So when, when I say something, she's like, well, I'm sure they're like 
I'm like, oh, you're so love you so much. My mom's really nice about yeah. that too. I had something just fall apart that I was so excited about, oh, and I I'm cried around. It's fine. It oh, happens like every day. It happens so. literally not it every day. <laughs> Four times a day, you're like, oh my god. It's yeah. so funny because like nothing yeah. happens, nothing happens, and then like you'll see something that did happen, and you're like, well, why was that thing the thing that no, happened? Exactly. But I got yeah, fired on the first thing I got, and I told everybody about it, and then I got fired on the first day. What was it? It was Mad Men. No. Yeah, and I like bragged to everybody back at home that I booked Mad Men. Of course. And then I became friends with the my castmate. But yeah, I got fired for a tattoo. Oh Wait, my that's god, that's crazy. So, I know. For a tattoo? Well, they it was kind of my that. fault, I think, in a way, because I like lied and they asked me if I had any, and because the day before they're like, actually, we're gonna have him like be shirtless and like there's like a flirty oh. thing with Kiernan's character, and then like, oh, I just, are you are you friends with Kiernan? Yeah, I love Kiernan. Oh, she seems like, so, so nice. cool. She's the best. Yeah. Yeah. What's your tattoo? I have no idea. It's just like a lot of things going on. Oh, my you have ribs. a lot of yeah. yeah, like I, have, I got it when I was fifteen. You can see it in White Lotus. I, I was gonna say. Yeah, I there's, like a big, there's like there's like a. He goes, a rose check out White Lotus. Like a <laughs> check out White Lotus. Do you, you actually get a tattoo? It. I've never had one. I would say not. I just I'm getting this one almost fully removed. I got like the Hunger Games bird on my leg when I was fifteen. That's oh my god, right. it's almost done. Oh my god, does it take a really long time to get them removed? It's so long and it hurts so bad. It's like a million sessions, right? Like once every six months. Yeah. What's the most fun set you've been on? White Lotus. Oh really? my god. Yeah, nothing will top that. Really? Just hanging out with Molly Shannon and Jennifer Coolidge. Right. Like, I, you forget that Molly Shannon was in S1. God, I love her so much. And it was love like, her. it must have been so fun because you were like. Yeah, you know, I, I met her and she's a heaven on earth. And she's heaven thinking, on earth. And I was thinking about how much you loved her and I was like, it's better than I even expected. It's better than you. It's like. Yeah. She's the, the nicest, warmest, yeah, funniest wild. person, and it's just like so grateful oh. and sweet. And she's someone who every single person says that about. Yeah, like no dream. one not only meets her and says like, "Oh, she's cool." Like everyone's like, "She is the best person." That's so amazing. Yeah, yeah. But um, wait, was you fun? You was, you was like really isolating. Oh, wow. I think I was just like in London, and me and Penn were the only non-Brits, and I think I lived like kind of really far west and i kind of felt like all i did was mm. just like go on walks in london all the time sounds amazing it was actually kind of great i've just been like this set I auditioned itself. for the new season and i was like let me in there i have two crushes You'd that are great. based in london oh i know one and the other is the og the one that got away like well, no maybe, i'm thinking og <laughs> the, the other is oh, more oh, recent oh i know yeah. what you're saying <laughs> and of course what that? And was like, like, hmm. all right um, yeah, you know, you was fun. You was fun. Yeah. Got it. it. Fun. We don't talk about that. <laughs> no, it was really fun. I, um, I, yeah, I had a little whoopsie accident on that set, too. What do you mean? What do you mean? I talked about it on Jimmy Kimmel, and, like, nobody laughed in the audience. They, like, felt really bad for me, but I got a facial from this lady. I have one today. That's why I look like this. Um, you look great. You yeah. Look great. I, like, have a weird sick obsessions with, we like, Skincare. We have to go really? over that. You could yeah. tell. You could tell us what to do. I have do. a real like sickness about it. Um, but the lady was like, "Your eyebrows are uneven," and I said, "No, they're not." Yeah. And she like put it up to a mirror, and then I went home and got a complex about it, and I kept on thinking about uneven eyebrows. So then I went back to her, and she was like, "Let me just put one unit, just one unit of Botox." My whole like eye collapsed, and so I just had like a wonky eye oh my god and so i had to like be in sunglasses for two episodes oh my god <laughs> oh my god Do you know, yeah. that's, I just how really common watched... is that with your with i like... think there's like a five percent chance so i'm just like lucky you yeah, lucky me special. allergic to botox my favorite one of my favorite yeah, scenes yeah i yeah i don't do I don't, I, i'm scared of botox i think i'm gonna just age yeah i think i'm just gonna get a bunch of facials and like weird lasers and stuff and what then, do you think about yeah. me being on the wrong side of 35 I think you look great. I you think, think you've never looked side. more toned. You're you on the right side. Better. Yeah, you've yeah, never yeah. looked better. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? My, I just rewatched Girls. So my favorite scene oh, is of so Girls mm. when she has that like temp job in the office where she tries to like her boss keeps touching her and she and but like it's the scene where she's in the bathroom with the other women oh, and they redo God. her eyebrows. Yes, yes. Wait. those oh, women are so well. Actually, one of them is Leslie Arfin. Oh my who was God! A writer on the I, show. I don't remember what's the exchange. What is the scene? Um, she like is in the bathroom and they come in. And like she's talking to them about how the guy is touching, touches her, and they're like, "Don't worry about it, don't worry about it." And then the one girl's like, "Your eyebrows are all fucked up." 
And then she's like, <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna fix it, we're gonna fix it. And she's like, she's gonna fix it, it's gonna be fine. And they, they like draw on, they like shave her eyebrows and she then like draw them on for the uh-huh. rest of the episode. She just has like pencil <laughs> eyebrows. It's so funny. Absolute genius. <laughs> yeah. I had a real like sisterhood of the traveling pants moment yesterday before the wedding. I was like, I feel so puffy. And this girl, one of the bridesmaids, she was like, I'll give you lymphatic drainage. And I go, oh my God, she sat <laughs> me down. You get so much lymphatic I drainage. Know. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> I bet you've gone to this woman. Um, Flavia. Faye? Oh no, I go to Flavia. Flavia. Oh, Flavia. No. That's like a Flavia. Hunger Games character, your tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> She's in District 9. Yeah. She's oh my best. god. <laughs> so it's a hike, but um this gorgeous, um, this gorgeous facialist told me about this woman, mm. Faye. And she was like, I was like, it's that does that work? And she's like, it only works if you're like doing everything else. And I'm like, okay, perfect. So it's stuff it not gonna work that I'm like, I'm do- it's the only thing I'm doing. I'm eating like shit and drinking nonstop, eating 45 keto muffins a day, Love. and then going for a limb drain, and she's like, <laughs> what does it but anyways, do? this girl is an amazing girl. Shout out to Erica. Gave me like a limp drain. And I was just like, I like love a being a girl. Yeah. It's nice. It's I would nice. love to be and a girl. And I love being touched. Like I just love being me touched. Me too. That's why I like go. I think that's what the, the obsession about the facials is. I just like being pet. That's kind of it's my obsession best. with massage. They touch your scalp. Oh, yes. I go to the scalp massage girl in East LA. Oh, I love that information. Like it's a little. I found it on TikTok and she, they just scratch your head for 45 minutes. Oh, wow. my God. That will make you calm your pain. Literally girl, better than sex. A girl, way better. Way better. A girl on my bus. Bus? I'm my boss. I grow my boss. Okay, we're going back to middle wait, school. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he takes the bus to podcast. <laughs> when I was in high school, get picked up on the bus. I like literally learned what an orgasm was late in life in like oh, this is, of course, year. this is octopusy yeah, octopusy like you know those like yes things. the little a girl on my bus got her first orgasm from someone at the mall doing that to her I get it I get it I get it shout out to that girl I saw her recently <laughs> do you any, are you are you still in, really because of like I'm still because connected. of you <laughs> I know what an orgasm is do you have are, are you still close with any childhood friends yeah cool Oh, he's from Cole's day your childhood. Dot. My childhood. He's from day dot. Day what? Dot. He's from day dot. Yeah, love. yeah, exactly. He's my he's my day one baby. That's so sweet. Where did you grow up again? San Diego. No way. Shout out. Shout out to Surfer Andy. boy. And is Cole now Got based out. in Los Angeles? <laughs> Were you surfer? Cole literally ripped me to shed shreds the first time I came on the podcast because he's like, I think I was like kind of closeted still at the time that we interviewed so they're like, who were you? I, think. I, I, th- I did talk about how like caught Jake Jill and all was so I, yeah. but I wasn't like outwardly being like so he's like you're who was i was like i'm a little surfer stoner boy like from san diego and he's like i oh my god wanted to rip you oh, apart. I don't remember that. wait so you what's your coming out journey can you the say zoom episodes yeah. is just like oh wait sorry what? what i said what's your coming out journey can you say but the zoom episodes were are so weird it's so funny it's like because we you know you meet people on zoom and then it just even like yesterday at the wedding this woman i talked to about a project for like a lot of zoom she yeah. like, i had no idea who she was she's yeah. like We've met, and I was like, oh, my God, that's you from yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Anyways. It's, it's hard. You, yeah. You, like, disassociate. So now it's real. Now yeah, you're now really on the Yeah, now this is real. This is my redemption tour. Tell me your, your – if you feel safe, tell us your coming out story. Um. Oh, my God. It's actually a really good story. I Perfect. had an I audition for Little Mermaid, <gasps> the live action with, with Coppola, which didn't end up happening. In, yeah. Oh. But it was, like, in development, and then, like, for the audition. When was this? You are so Prince Eric. I, I think that was the role. Do you get that a lot? I – it's the one that got away. Those eyes. You truly are multifaceted. Yeah, multifaceted. You can play straight. Yeah. <laughs> there's two, two facets. <laughs> <laughs> there's two facets playing straight and can't play straight. Do you think I could play straight if I really yeah. tried? Yeah, I do. Okay. I think you've totally could. Tell the smile, too. <laughs> <laughs> But you need to say this amount too. Why don't we make the assistant straight and then yeah. Matt Regan can play it? Then you would have. And whatever, <laughs> he only does straight roles. Only whatever straight roles. slur they got to play the gay assistant Stop probably couldn't, it. probably couldn't handle that oh. <laughs> challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine me and you on set like doing the smile face to each other like all day. We would have so much fun. We'll find something. Yeah, we'll, we'll find, find something. something. We'll, we'll find and definitely, something. And definitely let me know, and I'll do all this. And in the thing, and in the thing we find, we'll definitely have to do the smile. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, okay, so oh, okay, back to the story. So, uh, yeah, she in the audition, it was like all um, you had to read a set of sides, and then you have to talk about a story. So they say, what was like a vulnerable thing that happened for you? What was something that was hard for you, or what was a secret you were hiding, or something? I immediately start bawling. <gasps> Talk about how I'm sleeping with my neighbor Hi. and hiding it from everybody, my whole family. How and old were you? I was like 19. Oh, 19, my 20. God. Was like, what was the neighbor's deal? Um, just, Daddy? No, no. Just a neighbor that we were like bros. And yeah. We would like listen to That's records hot. and like play like PlayStation together. And how did it happen the first time? 
I just like kept coming over um, to his apartment and keep showing up. That's kept what showing up. And I <laughs> <laughs> it works if you work out. <laughs> don't quit before the miracle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, it just after like a month or two, he was like, all right, well, I'm going to kiss you now. <gasps> yeah. That's oh, like, it's, it's hot. It's, I know. It was hot. Then we dated for three years. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's substantial. Yeah. Where is he now? He's in New York. Um, so he's, he, he's your boyfriend now. He's my boyfriend. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, <laughs> oh, my God, you're Brian. You're fucking yeah, him right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, great. I Pass want him around. back. No, he has a uh, a nice boy that he's with now. We're friends. I saw that him boy doesn't hold a candle to you. He's. Yeah, I don't care what honest. you say. <laughs> <laughs> he's happy. He's happy. Um, and then I called. Yeah. He's kidding himself. <laughs> <laughs> I just started you crying. You want to get him back? Oh you want to get him back? Oh, that's like so good. That's that could be in the top. Do you love Olivia? Yeah. I love Olivia. She's rock and I love Olivia. I was in yeah. Brutal Music video. Oh really? 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 That's yeah, sick. Yeah, she's. You, all, I love Olivia. What a great song. You also revealed to us off air that you're like, that Do you feel conflicted? Oh, I love. Um, I'm not conflicted either way. I think that like we don't, we don't know. We don't have to, I choose. Know. We don't have to choose, and What's I think we can love both. What's the plot of the Brutal music video? Um, I'm a news anchor with Olivia, and um, it's Petra Collins, my friend, directed it, and then she's she, like, major. Beca- she's incredible, and then she becomes like a cheerleader. I've never then, met. I'm just a fan. Yeah, she's incredible. Just she's fan, so girl. good. Um, yeah, so then, okay, back to, um, okay, back to, yeah, so then I, I, I walk down the street, I'm leaving the audition, I call my mom, and I just start crying, and I tell her, and then she was like, shut up, like, why are you crying, I'm coming up there right now, we're having dinner with him, and we had, went out to dinner, we did the spicy challenge at Jitlada, and I broke, what's that, you can go to Jitlada, and if you beat the spicy challenge, the meal is free, it's so spicy. It's so spicy. I, I don't even do know it. what that is. Yeah. This Thai restaurant. I forget how we got into this conversation. Oh, Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. Or no. You and no. Olivia. No. Little Mermaid? Oh, Little yeah. Mermaid. It's all related. Little Mermaid, yeah. Olivia. So your mom yeah. was just like, yeah. of course I love you, like whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah she was really cool. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I was on Oxy when I came out to my mom. You were on Oxy? <laughs> yeah, the famous drug. It's really good for pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out if you're in pain. <laughs> you should see, yeah, if you're ever in pain, This episode yeah. is sponsored by Oxy. That's um, a sweet story. Yeah, it was sweet. It was cute. Um, oh. but do you feel conflicted about Olivia and Taylor? Um, no, I like them both. Like, I, I agree that we don't know their full story. Like, if I had to pick a side, of course, like, I'm going to stand by Taylor no matter what. Mm. But, like, I don't have to pick a side because it's yeah. not my um journey. It's not my struggle. Yeah. Totally. I mean, and Taylor cheered for her at the Grammys. Yeah, I feel like it's, like, all kind of murky of that whole thing about the lawsuit. And yeah. The, I'm just, like, they're fine. Totally. I love them both. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Do you... Um, um, what are you doing this week? Um, this week, what am I... Oh, God, you guys, I'm going to Coachella this week. No, you're not. I know. Oh, I know. That's, to me, that's you. No, I never go. To me, that is you. Do you sleep there? Really? Kind of. Well, just because oh, it's God. LA, it's young. Are you young. sleeping in a bus or something? Yeah. No, the I'm like sleeping with like in... With octopus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a school bus out there and are you choosing uh, to do like a sexy what is it called like an RV like a sexy RV no I wish no, I'm like sleeping in a bunk bed but I'm oh god I hate myself I'm doing it with a brand but um what oh. brand and you're safe you're safe here Heineken oh, oh wow but, well first of all cheers thanks yeah. <laughs> first of all, this gotta bu- pay my mortgage <laughs> first of all this bud's for you oh my god you have a house um yeah it's like with a bunch of people but I'm I'm really the reason I'm actually going is for Lana and Doja oh <gasps> Yeah. Oh, but wait, what that's going to be so fun. I mean, I just, is it a whole weekend? Yeah. Or are you going one night? I'm just going to go for Lana and Doja. I don't care about anyone else. We didn't Lana's really, everything. Everything. We didn't really do who were you, no who are you, who do you want to be. Okay, so yeah, since we last saw you. <sighs> I want to redo on that. Okay, okay Cole, great. Just yeah. like, Cole really Cole never affected. forgive me. He he also asked. I thought it was fun. I, that I, I, it's kind of fun to see the, the growth. We totally. can keep checking in every couple of years. Yeah, totally. I wonder if I've grown. I've changed so much. I've changed, but not. I've changed, but not grown. Yeah. <laughs> changed, but not grown. I've you're never changed in the direction. Bleed. What is that? And if you don't bleed, you're never gonna grow. But it's all um, right now. But we were something, don't you think so? What a good song. Wrong twenty, throwing pennies in the pool. And it would have been, been you. you. My favorite Taylor Swift song is "Delicate." Wait. Oh, that's not mine. Same. Is it because chill I did, that you're I did, in um, my head? I did the bracket, and I was like, "There's no way I'll be able to figure this out." And then yeah. I got "Delicate." I think mine might be right now, Betty. I don't want to make assumptions about why you switched your homeroom, but I think it's because of me. That one does not hit with me at all. all. Betty, you're a storyteller. I love peace so much. Oh, really? When I went to this, um, when I went to Eras, there was this um, this young man, like very much kind of encroaching on our space, who like was kind of dressed up as like a um, 
I don't know why, but he was dressed up as kind of like a nut, the Nutcracker. Yeah. And he was screaming. <laughs> yeah, 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 he was screaming yeah, yeah, at the top yeah, of yeah. his lungs, play peace, play peace, play peace. I get it. That's me. Right. Right. <laughs> but to the point where I was like, yeah, meanwhile, I have an upper, resp- peace, I have an upper respiratory infection and 102 fever. You were there, <laughs> <though. Same. laughs> but, um, but what was I going to say? Um, okay, so who were you? Who was I? I was, um, I was a deeply conflicted closeted little troublemaker um but i was also like i kind of switched from like being really wanting attention and like being an attention whore to also being like deeply insecure and like shy as well it was like a weird yeah thing for a long time i was a back and forth yeah it's hard when did you know you were gay i honestly i swear i'm not making this up i i wish i knew earlier but i had like girlfriends that i was obsessed yeah. with really? till I was like nine, 18 or 19 when I met my neighbor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Oh my God. Yeah. They were really, there was like, I, there was one in particular where you can bleep out her name. Oh my God. Um, she had a lower back tattoo that said, trust no bitch. Oh, oh my God. Amazing. So iconic. Wait, how like, old was she? You're she like 43. Was like, she was like 15 and I was 16. <laughs> wow. So cool. Trust no bitch. Tattooed trust on no bitch with back. a money sign after the bitch. Uh, no, but literally trust no bitch. She was like, li- yeah, literally trust. <laughs> I get that. No, she was ahead of her time. Like Lindsay, Lo- like looked like Lindsay Lohan. Like, oh my god! Star of her own reality show. Didn't even know it. Like just completely iconic, and wow. I did not deserve her. I was so obsessed with her. That's wow. amazing. Yeah. How long did you date her? Break up. Uh, two years. Uh, uh, she went to <laughs> rehab like everybody else that I grew up with. Oh my god! And um, I like wrote her letters, tried to break oh. her out of rehab. Um. But I think one time when we were having sex, she's like, I think you might be gay. Really? Oh, yeah. She said that? She's like, you're like, bi- you're definitely bi, maybe gay. Why, but like, while you're having sex, she's saying yeah, that? She, yeah, and I was like, well, no, I'm not. Why? Know. Why would um, you do that? I don't know. Why would she do that terrible thing to you? <laughs> no, no, but like. <laughs> it's just gay porn playing on yeah. the whole time. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> um, that's so, wow, she seems so wise. No, she's really wise. She has like four kids now. Whoa. Um, she, does she trust any bitches? Trust she no trusts bitch. no bitch. <laughs> She's the coolest person um, of all time. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, I miss her. Um, yeah, that's who I was. Mm-hmm. Who I am. Yeah. I'm in like my doing the work era. Yeah, yeah. what's your work? Yeah. Like I'm real deep into artist way right now. Oh. Yeah. I'm revisiting that. Mm-hmm. It really that Maybe first, I should do that again. Like it's I hate Hard I do morning up. pages still, but like yeah. The artist dates are hard for me. Yeah. I'm well, like, I used to like love spending time by myself, but lately I feel the wall is closing in. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. You don't like being alone now? It's so interesting because that's all I've ever wanted was to be alone. Yeah. And all of a sudden now I start to like get this sense of like existential dread all the time. Yeah. I get that. I go, mine goes in and out. I either I'm like <laughs> need to be with someone all the time and like have to be really codependent or right now I'm like really enjoying my freedom. I think freedom yeah. underrated. I know that I could never date someone right now. Yeah. Same. Like I just feel that deep in my bones, Same. but never say never, you know. No, you never Keep know. Open need. to the opportunity. Just in yeah, case. I just know that I need to like know myself a little bit better. Yeah, that's fair. I thought I knew myself so well, but anyways. Yeah, I'm Isn't finding that, that right now. Yeah, you're doing artist way. Doing artist way, like, like speed dating therapist. I haven't found the right one yet. I always like to like go for one for a couple months and yeah. then see if they're like. I just like to get what I can get out of them, and then I'm like, we're good. Totally. You know? Lately, I've been feeling like. <laughs> This is the worst. It's like, Say it. I'll have to be like, therapy does not work. Like, I know. I've been, I've been playing like shit yeah. for like 15 years. I I'm know. Like, I don't I'm know. so sorry. Now that I feel like shit, like I'm actually one of the happiest people on earth. I just like, I'm yeah. the same issues. Yeah. I don't feel like they've gotten any better. Like my yeah. anxiety is like, I'm medicated. Mm-hmm. Me I had too. 10, 20 million different therapists. It's just like. Oh, actually, I'm raw dogging life too. Oh, Me too. Yeah, I was like on the Prozac, Wellbutrin. I was on yeah. the Prozac yeah. too. I'm on pros. You're on pros. She's a good one until she's just like, I have I have borderline. So I found that out um, a year or two ago and mm-hmm. I found out that Prozac actually makes me more manic. Really? How so, long were you on the Prozac? I was on it for a while and oh, I just wow. got off like a couple months ago and I feel like I'm like, oh, I'm. Really? That makes so much sense. Yeah. Why I was so was it hard to get off, or was it like, did you wean? No, I think uh, I weaned, and then I was fine. Okay, great. Um, but yeah, I feel like yeah, some of it works, and then some of it, I don't know. It's kind of how I feel about therapy. Like, it works for yeah. whatever you need it for, and then you're good. You know? Yeah, I've been with my same therapist Maybe now for like seven months, and lately I'm like, I don't really necessarily know what to say to you anymore. Yeah. 
I know. And then they're like, and then people say like, but that's when the real work begins. I know, but I'm like, And then I'm like, yeah. you just want me to say I hate my parents and I actually don't. Yeah. I actually think they're awesome. <laughs> One time my therapist said to life. me like, Pat, do you know what I think you might have? And I said, what? It's like borderline. And mm-hmm. I was like, okay. And, then and never, everybody. And he never talked about it again. I've had two therapists be like, so you're a little bipolar. And I was like, okay, I don't think that's a diagnosis. Yeah, you can say I'm a little a li- bipolar. One, two, when one said, this guy in Union Square, shout out, empty room, one chair, no table, terrifying, like metal school chair. He goes, yeah, a lot of, uh, you're Jewish, right? A lot of Jewish people. Yeah, bipolar. I'm like, Who? I go, there's no way you're a doctor. Yeah. There's yeah. no way that was a doctor. There's no way that was a doctor. Union and he Square. gave me, and I, oh my God. Doctors don't belong in Union Square. Union Square is for Panera Bread. Union Square <laughs> is for Panera Bread and Barnes and Noble. Yes. And Joe and the Juice. Don't you love, oh, I love yes. that spicy tuna. But me you know too. what I love when a, when a phrase like Barnes and Noble, you even forget what it is. It's two people coming together. I know. Barnes, and, both Barnes and, and Noble. Noble. But it's just a love of the written word. <laughs> and it becomes, yeah, and it becomes <sighs> Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble yeah. over coffee. One Barnes was like, you know what I'm like obsessed with? Noble goes, what? <laughs> Honestly, lately, the written word. Yeah, He's yeah, like, wait, yeah. that's so funny because I'm going through such a thing with that too. Yeah. We should do something with it's that. It's like in a big green store. But do you know what I have to say? Yeah. yeah. I, I, what? I don't know. <laughs> you <laughs> so yeah. didn't say it. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I'll say it. No, I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by all means. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because, like, okay, I love the energy inside most Barnes and Nobles. I find it so safe and, like, it's such mm-hmm. a... Um, when you're in a Barnes and Noble, you're you're living in abundance. Mm-hmm. But do you know where what Barnes and Noble makes you live in a place of scarcity? I can't explain it. The energy inside the Barnes and Noble at, um, the Grove. No, the Grove I'm East. Really like... What is the other Grove called again? Oh, the Americana. Yes. I love the Americana. Me too, but that Barnes and Noble, it's you walk in, you're like, I Our, don't believe in you. Sh- That's that so crazy. Whatever. <laughs> <up, buddy? laughs> <laughs> Got a good look. You walk into the Americana Barnes and no Noble. No one who listens to this podcast ever would want to see my pussy. You walk into most Barnes and Nobles and you're like, and you're like, humanity is inherently good. You mm. walk into the Americana, Barnes and Noble, you're like, humanity is inherently bad. Interesting. They're yeah. very different. Yeah. I, I'm an Americana girl. I, yeah. I like the Americana. I used to love the Grove when I was yeah. here in the spring, but no, I, I haven't been there. <laughs> he loved the Grove in the spring. Yeah. In the spring only. <laughs> but now it's the spring again. Oh, now you can go wild. back. What's your yeah. favorite season? Um, what is your favorite season? Summer. Oh, no. Some are. That I makes sense like for you. I have like bumpy arms and they go away in the summer. Oh, so I love that. What do you mean nice. bumpy arms? I have like little like keratosis. See, these are like baby bumps. And they like go away in the sun. Um, I don't, but. Do you get tan? Your journey. Do I get tan? Yeah. I get, I get, I have rosacea too. So I get red for a while and then That's I get so tan. Good. You get tan. Well, I like went through a phase of being like, I'm going to be tan probably yeah. like six months ago. But I think I'm over it. Yeah. It's hard to keep up with. It is exhausting. Yeah, it's hard. The, the, the mitt. It's yeah. like it's a lot. It's I look ridiculous. so much better with it, though. Oh, that's why oh, it's oh addictive. I look, Every, I'm hot with the tan. I looked so good in Greece two years ago. Shout out to me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my younger self. Um, but I'm happier now than I was then. And thank God for that. Now, <laughs> So now you're doing the work. You're yeah, looking for a therapist. The you're doing Artist yeah. Way. You're in LA. You're single. Single. Ready to mingle. Do you go on dates and how do you get them? Um, (laughs) I go on dates. I go on dates. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like um, not so much on apps. I've I've done a little like Instagram thing. I was going to say Instagram your app. Instagram's my app, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Or like IRL. Yeah. Who's your biggest celebrity crush? Um... Like Colin Farrell. Oh my really? God! Yeah, like he Farrell. never quite did it for me. Oh, really? I would. That, he's I, just everything. Like the yeah. Irish accent works. I love Irish and it Scottish. It works on me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. They're hot. You and know fun. what? You know what works on me sometimes? Cartoon porn. It works on me sometimes. <sighs> really? I get it. That's I get so it. interesting. I never knew that about you. <gasps> I know. I, well, I, I don't want to. I don't seek it out, but as soon as it comes no, to you. No, I, I kind of had a cartoon porn era. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, this is yeah. working on me. Like, how could it not? You know what cartoon porn was. <laughs> Remember the cartoon porn in Kill Bill Vol. 1? I tried to in watch what? that in the darkest... In Kill Bill Vol. 1? The darkest period oh, yeah. of my life. I'm at home drinking a martini alone watching Kill Bill. I'm like, I hate this. <laughs> it's the darkest time in my life. You and I have unfinished oh. business. Oh, God. <laughs> That's it. The pandemic was me being literally blackout with my parents in the living room. I'm like, this is so bad. Like, I would literally just, like, drink until I could fall asleep and then wake up and do it again and be like, this is reality. Uh, oh, my God. I was, yeah. yeah, I was unwell during the pandemic. <laughs> he looks at me. <laughs> oh. Look at us now. Look at us now. We're thriving. And so who do you want to be? What's your dream? Speaking of Barnes & Noble, I yeah. think I and want to be And give them each their due. <laughs> no, I want to be, like, um, 
I want to be like Jeanette McCurdy. Uh, oh my God, how good was her book? Her book was one yeah. of the best books. Her and Molly Shannon's book are top tier. Need to yeah. You need to read Molly Shannon's. It's amazing. But I want to be like Jeanette McCurdy. I want to go missing for a little bit and yeah. then like <laughs> just show up with a New York Times bestseller and a oh. Q&A at Barnes & Noble in the Grove. I know. It's going to be happen. wonderful. We have to adjust. Like if we're going to talk about Jeanette, did you watch q on S? Yes. Oh my God. So dark. That is yeah. so disturbing. Most upsetting things I've ever seen. It's yeah. so horrible. Yeah. I can't believe it. You see, and, oh, I remember like they said all the people that like, well, whatever. When like, yes. I oh, that's who, like, yeah. wrote the letters yeah, yeah, yeah. being like, he must have been very tempted. Oh, like, what? that was wild. That, that was the scariest part. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was all harrowing. It was all harrowing. That was upsetting, though. Yeah. That, it's oh, so God, like, it was so gross. No, just like, I'm, I, I'm so sad about Amanda Bynes. I'm, she was literally one of the stars of, like, she, I, I want her to have a comeback tour. I want her to I be believe, well. I believe, I believe, I believe in her. Too. I love her so Wasn't much. Wasn't she going to, like, start a podcast or something? I think she has one. Oh, cool. She Let's did one on. episode, and I think she was, like, I'm over it. Oh, really? Yeah. She's, uh, she just passed her, her nail on. exam, though, I saw on TikTok. Nails? Like, she's going to. Okay. Yeah, she's a nail tech. I yeah. would go to her. Let's, we have to go yeah. to her <laughs> and get her on the pod. Do a three-way manicure. <laughs> <laughs> I love eight. her so much. No, she's, she's like so such talented. an influence on me. Like when I was little, like my friends and I would just die. Like there was nothing. Well, you know who I thought was the funniest person girls. on the planet Ooh. was that girl Katrina, and she's all that, and she was like in the thing. Oh, that was sad. Yes. And she said like, and I remember being like nine, being like they're trying to replace Katrina with Amanda just because Katrina got older. Like wow. I remember saying to my brother, and then she was like, they tried to replace me with Amanda because I got older, and I was wow. like, Katrina, I've known that for twenty I years, see you. twenty-six I stand years. Katrina. Yeah, that was wild. God, that was dark. Oh my God. Anyways. So that's anyway. what I want to be. That's a good one to be. I want to be. I want to be. And I want to. You have a book. I do. Your poetry book. I've yeah. read it. It's really good. Check it out, guys. Thank you so much. It's really good. You're. Yeah, we both. All, we all three need to have a book. I'm trying to. I'm supposed to be writing, a, writing book a book and I can't do it. Really? I'm really struggling. I think that's what every person who's written a book has felt. It does feel chic to be like, I have writer's block for my book. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> but like, I can't do well, it. Well, I think with really? the you're, you're writing. All yeah, you're also your writing work. on a show. I think and... that I'm too discerning about. I think I'm too self critical. And I told you I finally read the essays you sent me, and they're so good. I hate them now. That's, I want to read them. That's part of it. They're so bad. So My favorite. I only like the baseball one now. I don't like the other one. I love, and I love the thing you sent me a while ago where you're like talking about coming out to your mom. That was the proposal. It's really good. Oh, you like have a full blown proposal? I like have a book deal. But like what I'm are you not. Doing? But since I've since getting I'll be the book your deal, writer. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and Jeanette can work yeah, together. Yeah, Jeanette can workshop it together. <laughs> I um since getting like the deal, I've not been able to write. But like when I have written done that kind of writing, it's never been for. It's never been for a book. It's yeah. for the love of the game, and I'm too like in my head about it. No, I, it's part I of the get problem. That. It's difficult, it's hard. but you really have to just. You have to do it though. Yeah, I just when you're ready, sit down. More. I fully believe in like. Do you believe in this or not? Like. I believe like I'm a vessel and like creativity comes through okay, me. Artist when... way, artist way to not create. Yeah, and oh, then sometimes, the way, I'm to... like, sometimes it's not coming, and that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Like, and to yeah. not, but to not create is to not create is self will. Artist way, right? To, to not create is self will. But God's like will naturally, is... we should be creating. God's will yeah. is all you create, you create, you create. But you're taking your creating will back is from so God. beautiful. Yeah, I feel like I have to be when the few things that I actually got down on paper and done and told i have to want to do it. i can't I be like one of those people like i'm gonna write two pages a day and then i'm, oh, I'm like yeah. i have to be inspired and then i'll just finish it in a week and i know it'll be horrible but i'll have it all done i have to feel yeah. excited about it and the other thing that's tricky is like sometimes i'm like well i should i'm also trying to do tv stuff so i'm like yeah i have to really pick one dragon at a time to slay mm -hmm. or yeah. else it gets too overwhelming to me i get overwhelmed so easily and then you have to like also like write tape. that movie with writer yeah with phoebe i love him so much I love, yeah, oh, yeah. Phoebe's phoebe's back. Phoebe's phoebe and so i wrote phoebe's back. Phoebe's back. Phoebe's back. yeah Was we wrote that, so that. Fun? yeah i mean we wrote that in a weekend we were just that's amazing. we got really high and just wrote a script in a weekend together and slept over and somehow sold it like the first week of the pandemic it was that's wild heaven. yeah heaven on i do think yeah like that's I love that like college -y, all yeah, nighter vibe. Yeah, me too. That's that's my way of working. I yeah. think so. Maybe we should just like yeah. Get we we'll get get our, we're, we're gonna get our three way manicure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Lay out a script. <laughs> Amanda Bynes will come with us to do our nails like in between. Well, should, we should wait. We should write her comeback. We yeah. have to. Oh you need God. to put her in something. I, oh, ever. of course. Do I oh wait, have? you know what? You, I mean, your best moment of all time. What? Yes. Oh, my audition tape. That is my best. That is my best moment of all time. That's my best acting role. It's so funny. That was so funny. Yeah. And it was just like the universe collided in that moment to like make God. bring everyone joy. Yeah. I cannot believe that blew up the way that it did. Oh God! How, where did it blow up? 
On TikTok? On I posted on Instagram and Twitter. Oh my god, wow. that was so yeah. funny. I as, just, as the Amy Sherman Paladino of my time, that would mean so yeah, much to yeah, yeah. You are so you guys are Amy Sherman Paladino. So Amy Sherman. Together. Like yeah. together, you guys are so I can't listen to your podcast at anything. I usually listen like 1.5, 2 percent speed, oh, yeah. but Not you guys are like cracked We're out. We're very um Lauren and Alexis. Yes. I know. You you're are the, Alexis. Yeah, you're the baby I, I know. Mommy. It was so funny because I'm old and you're young. And that's why it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know, I'm not even on um, my Ritalin anymore. You're not on your Ritalin nice. anymore. I kind of only took it for like like sporadically yeah. at night when yeah. I was going out for yeah. like, like two years. I <laughs> wish I could be on At the peak of my pandemic drinking, I was going. also popping the yeah. Ritalin. We all were. Yeah, right? We all were. But now, you know, it's hard. It became hard to get. And I go, I actually don't think I have ADHD and I should just like move on. I think everyone has it. Like, yeah. uh, you know, I, I have feel... something bad, but everyone always is <laughs> like, something bad. <laughs> I love like the new thing on TikTok is like, or like Instagram. It's like, by the way, when you're not doing your work and not answering your emails and like you're not doing all the things you're supposed to do, it's a trauma response. Oh, I was like, I know. procrastination is a trauma response. I know. Like, it's all I do is yeah. like a procrastination. Respond to trauma. Oh. It's now, so hard. do we have a question? Yeah. Week? Oh, question yeah. of the week. Mine will be the baby owls and one parent owl near the circle, like, the what? The what? The baby owls. Oh, cute. And the triplet, That's so pure. The famous triplet owls. The, the famous oh, so triplets. there are famous triplets. Yeah. The owls. Or they're either triplets or close in age. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're about the same size. And then there's one parent. And depending on the gender roles of the owls in general, which I don't know, it's mm-hmm. either the mom or the dad. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know who's generally. So you want the whole family. I don't know who generally. Yeah, I want the whole fam. Uh, uh, do you know your family? I. Did I Colin Farrell, young Colin, oh, Colin Farrell? Uh, uh, that's just lots tied with like Kiki Dunst. I love yeah. that. Oh my god, god so she's hot. having like she's very quotable right now. I yeah. can see yeah. people posting her quotes. Her quotes are so good. Like yeah. everything's bad. Yeah, and I don't want to audition for anything or I don't want to read because ninety nine percent of everything that sucks. Was, yeah, kind of true. Oh, that was queen behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was queen behavior. <laughs> oh my crush. I mean, God, me. what am I liking? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, literally. Literally me. Crush, crush. Um, and I really, you know, the fridge today looked so beautiful. It was you stunning. See it? The sort of I guess because color coordinated. You just don't see that yeah. a lot, and it's always it harkens back to MTV Cribs. Yeah. Oh my god. And if I get nice. well, and if I could paint a picture for y'all, I open the fridge and there's every soda under the sun <laughs> <laughs> lined up in rows, and, yeah, both... and they're facing the la- perfectly labels facing perfectly labels. <laughs> <laughs> my new, my new album, my new EP, That's perfectly the labels. Caption of the episode. That perfectly yeah. labels, perfectly labels. Yeah. Um. So the fridge, the fridge of the head gum studio is my crush of the week, and also, I had an amazing. Last thing I'll say in my life, I had such an exquisite corn ravioli. Ravioli last night. <laughs> I was mixing up ravioli and tortellini, which I could not do on air, but it was rav. Rev Where'd you four. get it from? Go to Rev Four. I got it from the wedding I went to. <laughs> you, should, you have to go to this wedding. I have to go. I <laughs> no, no, check to. out this wedding. It was so chic. The corn. It was like almost like I won't get into it. Um, you just have to be there. Go check out the wedding I was at, <laughs> and I'll let you guys know. Um, do you guys feel hot today? I feel hot. I don't yeah, feel you are glow. Yeah, I'm like glow. a little. Jo, I get from a facial? the facial? Who's oh, your yeah. facialist? Um, I go to a couple people. I go to this girl named Joanne Check, who's. This gorgeous Polish woman who just Love it. beats her face up. Yeah. That's what I like. You need to go to her. She just like will. Yeah. She will Wake me yeah. up. Oh Wake God. me up. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best pop songs of the last few yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I feel we, we will we will get back to Cole because I have yeah, to take. Yeah, you have to get back to him. I really like, I really like glamorous. Uh, it's glamorous, so glamorous is amazing. like the best song of all time. Glamorous. London Bridge is pretty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and your Fergie's... favorite, "Stick with You." I'm a, you oh, because you know I got on your car crush to stick with you. <laughs> to the Pussycat Dolls. I was in the se- I was senior year. I was driving to driving a driving to senior year poker <laughs> night. I was driving to a senior year poker night with the boys. Stick with you came on. I was pretending I was singing it. I smashed into the car in front of me. <laughs> Stop. Hey, buddy, gonna make me lose my glass shattering. Like, I'm gonna stick with you. Car rolling over. Hey, <laughs> My head's like, oh my god. I'm gonna stick with you. You know how to push it. You're my friend, I'm your mommy. I'm off a cliff. I got in a car crash to stick with you. And it was my fault. The car crash was my fault. And it was to a European man named Yanni. He didn't want to get any. He didn't want to call. He didn't want the police involved because we suspected he was with a mistress. 
Yeah. Oh, and he wow. didn't want it. You sound really good today, by the way. What? You sound really good today. Like my voice. Your register, your higher register is really, really pingy today. Um. <laughs> I, I just keep seeing you upside down to stick with you. <laughs> 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 so you're floating in there. <laughs> you're like underwater, you're banging, trying to get the car under the brake. Like, That's so good. Succession core. Yeah. Um, I, love. I, I love my Mad Lab. My hair looks good, we can admit that. Yeah. And I, and I love that dress. I know. And, you. I, and you know... I, I know. That, that I love that. Yeah, for, for a girl who's hungover, swollen, full of corn ravioli, <laughs> it's going pretty well. Was um, there good food at the wedding? It was corn ravioli. Let me tell you this. Um, I, I can't wait to, um, to get married. But don't you think a wedding will I'm give torn. you a headache? Don't you worry a wedding will give you a headache? Yeah, I have to be like really stable and happy <laughs> in, in my career. I worry a wedding would give me a headache. Yeah, or even me a headache. Yeah. I have to be happy in my career so I can devote the time to something as no offense, stupid as planning a wedding. <laughs> Everyone's mad at me. Um, um, are you mad at me, Lucas Gage? Um, I'm a little oh. peeved. I'm not mad at you, but I was a little upset when I saw your air one that one time, I have to say. <laughs> I feel like you're really kind of playing hard to get with me. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, what? No, you're not serious. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you're so yeah. serious. But I did feel like there was that moment where I was like, do I like bother do, him? And no, you know what I mean? Do you like, know what it was? Like, tell me. I was like, dating someone at the time i was visiting la and i was staying with that person and they had just picked me up from the airport and yeah. I, I didn't know the person that well so yeah. i was kind of like in a place like, wait, 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 he I picked act? you up from the airport yeah and then we went straight Call to him back <laughs> <laughs> we went straight to erwan and then i saw you and we'd never met in person That's you were with your partner yeah. who i'd never met it was i was just like and like a wild husky puppy that was just yeah. like I, I you was, still have a wild husky puppy okay no, yeah. um so i just i probably was just like Sensory overload, like, yeah. how do I behave in this moment? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've kind of felt the same. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of that feeling you have when, because you're really famous and stuff, but, like, when you go to, like, yeah. parties and there's, like, really famous people that you've watched on TV and you think that you know them. Oh, hey, totally. Do you have that? I've ever? Always, you... I remember years ago I saw Alana Glazer on the street and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I've never met her before. I was just like, oh, crazy. I've done that to Brooke Shields. I was oh at a party. God. I was at a dinner with her. And I was like, bro. <laughs> and she was like, who the fuck are you? But they're like, probably used to that. I think they're used to it. Especially on the of, street. Like, yeah. You really do think that you know them, though. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I do. Now you do. Now you do. I did, I, do. A, I did like, I started another, I, I did my famous thing of starting, go, going on Grinder, which like, I just shouldn't do. It's not good for me. How often do you get recognized on Grindr? Um, if I do get recognized, I immediately block. Got it. Um, but I like, but I was going to uh, someone's home and like, I did the famous thing where I started hooking up and was like not into it and then was like, I have anxiety, I have to leave. <laughs> but on my way in, part of I think what it was is like on my way, <laughs> anxiety, <I have> to. <laughs> on my way in, like there was a girl walking her dog and she and like the guy came out to meet me. And as I'm going to meet him, this girl walking around, I was like, I love your podcast. <laughs> and then the, guy oh went, and the guy's like, what did that guy say? What did that girl say? And I was like, oh, I no. have a podcast. No. <laughs> no, 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 and it no. just like, wasn't a good start. Like, and I actually, it actually was bad because then like, we did start hooking up and I just was like, something about that too. Because then he was like asking about the podcast. I was like, oh, mid, oh mid my fuck? God. Mid fuck? He was asking about the podcast? No. Like, by the way, do you think you're gay? Do you think you're gay? I think you're gay. Um, no, we didn't start. We had started like making out. It was all good. He was really hot. It was all good. All good. All good. We're good. We're good. We like had briefly started like, mom, don't listen. I had like started going down on him. And then I just was like, I can't do it. Picture yeah. your mom taking out her AirPods. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And probably they're done now. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and then, um, so then I was like, I got to go. So, and then he was doing this thing that I do think. Because it, it honestly happens to me. Like, I shouldn't go on Grindr because, like, I just don't like it. And I don't, yeah. like, when I'm there, it suddenly is, it's, if the vibe is off, like, I can't do it. Right. So, like, uh, so then he was doing this thing where who, he was kind of, like, acting like he deserved a medal for being like, yeah, you don't obviously have to. Like, <laughs> you don't have to do anything you don't want. You can like, say no I totally anytime. respect your boundaries. <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> but then it was almost like he thought I was going to change your mind then. And I was like. Right. Yeah. Well, You're like, like, wait, I'm down. Oh, one of my favorite jokes yeah. of all time. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 you see Richard 
Perez's show? Uh, I did. I was dying when he like our friend Richard does his show, and then he's the thing where he's like miming, making out with someone. Every time he does, he goes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I opened for him. In That's so Italy fun. Gen. Yeah, he's so fun. Wait, it reminds me of one of my favorite jokes Jacqueline Novak has about like handling a breakup oh, so well. Yeah. That like yes. they want you back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, yes. It's, like, it's so real. Like, God, her oh. show. So good. With like one of the best. Genie in a bottle. Genie in a bottle. Oh, really? It's so good. It's on Netflix.com. I know. I better watch it on Netflix.com. You better work, bitch. You. Oh, Nina Maserati. Caper Lance. I haven't seen Kate's either. Kate's Party is so in fucking France. so good. <laughs> <laughs> you better work, bitch. Um, okay. Are you mad at me? No. Are you mad at me? No. 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 Are you mad at me? Not at all. Oh my god. Not at all. I'm glad we unpacked the Erwan moment. Yeah, no, me too. I feel it was like so we... like so I was like, I just landed in LA. This person's taking me to Erwan. I'm seeing Lucas Gage and his partner. Like I was like, I'm in LA for sure. <laughs> Location tag. <laughs> Marked myself safe. Marked safe in Erwan Beverly Hills. LA, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh my god thank you so much for coming on in person god, please. and especially on a Sunday when you've had such a, a night, gorgeous facial when you had a your night with Tony night. Tony, what's his name Tony Tony Brown Tony, Tony, <laughs> Tony Maguire Tony Braxton Tony Maguire Tony, Maguire. <laughs> Tony Soprano thank you I'm also um, just happy to be here and oh. I can't wait to check in at my I Barnes know. and Noble meet and greet we do a live taping Miss McCree when you ghost write Pat's book yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude let me ghost do it by Lucas Cage. Do, yeah, I do. yeah I want to do the forward I'm Brittany in that way like yeah. but I, okay, I was like she didn't write this there's no way yeah. <laughs> there's no way I love Michelle Campos Williams is... reading of it though that was wild uh, I, have, I have to listen that, I was, like, that was like a great. minute of ex- that was like a, such a funny minute on the internet yeah it was it was fun. one minute long that moment anyways um, um you're not. We're not mad at you. If you You're care. Not, are you mad at me? Never, at never, at never, never. Um, shout out to Cole. Shout out to Cole. We love you, Cole. Who's literally keeping? He said to he follow. really needs to be. Shout out to Mama and Follow. <laughs> I hope he gets some. He wants to be a, like a Make a Wish Foundation he guest should, on here. He has to. He, I think he we'd, needs we'd to. We'd be more than happy to have him on the podcast. Yeah. It's his only wish. Is he like, based in Los Angeles? He is now in a facility in Arizona, but he's moving to LA when he gets out. Okay, he, cool. So okay, like great. his gift for graduating rehab yes. and being sober oh, should be being yes. on this podcast. Yeah, well, if, you, if you can get sober, you can get out. <laughs> <laughs> so so we're we're court ordered, court ordered. We, ju- we drug test him over yeah. <laughs> Me and Cat are blacked out from the night yeah. before. No, I'm literally like, yeah, you do so good. Oh, oh my God. Love love. Okay, love you guys and always be real. <laughs> That was a HeadGum Podcast.